So uh, first off, I'd like to apologize for not getting this video out on Wednesday. Um, I ran into some problems and I had to take care of something really important, so I didn't have the time to record it. But uh, anyway, here it is. Now, probably the question that I get asked the most out of all of them is how I get my Pokemon and how I get them to level 100. Um, rather than just answer all of them in a PM or a comment or something, I decided to make a video on it. Now, I use a program here called Pokesav. Um, I'm using Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Um, I do have Pokesav for black and white, but I'm just going off Heart Gold and Soul Silver because it's easier. Now, there's two ways you can use Pokesav. The first way is with an action replay. Uh, I don't use that way because I think it's a lot more complicated and harder to use. Um, my The way I do it is through my SD card. So all I do is go over here to open. Then it's going to open up my SD card or open up like this thing. And then I go over to my SD card and load my Heart Gold Soul Silver save file. Now here it is. As you can see, my party filled up with six Pokemon. I got my name, trainer IDs, and everything like that. Now, in order to get my Pokemon into my game, what I do is go over here to the bottom uh, right and click Storage and hit Edit. Now, this thing will load up. Now, this is your boxes and what Pokemon are in your boxes. Since I have quite a bit of Pokemon, I'm just going to go up to box number 6 because that's the box I'm working on right now. So, in order to get a Pokemon in here, all I'm going to do is go over here to an empty slot and click Edit. Then it's going to bring up this big page. Now, this can be pretty intimidating if it's your first time seeing this or first time using it. Now, for me, I did I messed up a lot when I first started doing this, but I'm pretty good at it now. So, um, if I want to make a Pokemon, I'm just going to go over here to the Pokemon thing, and it's going to bring up this big long list of all the Pokemon in the game. Now, I'm just going to use a random one. Um... Let's just use Butterfree, for example. Now, I'm going to go keep going down here and then go up like that. So, um, Held Item, let's just give it uh, Focus Sash because I'll make this thing a lead. So, it's a Focus Sash. Now, if you're doing this on a action replay, you're not going to be able to do this. But um, the way I do it, it, for trainer ID and secret ID, I just put input own ID, and it's going to put my IDs that are on the save file, so you don't really need to put those for Wi-Fi battling, I just put it because I feel like it. Now, here's the part that I get asked the most, and that's the level. Now, all I have to do is put two zeros after that one, and it's going to make it level 100. Now, what a lot of people don't know is in, um... Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you don't need to have level 100 Pokemon to Wi-Fi battle. Um, as long as your Pokemon are fully EV trained, like if you EV train them in a stat you want, and you use all 210 EVs, they could still be level 60 or 70, and you can still battle with them, because if you go into the Wi-Fi thing and ask for a battle, it's going to automatically make your Pokemon level 100. So not a whole lot of people know that, so... If you uh, breed, your, breed your Pokemon or EV train your Pokemon yourself, you don't really have to make them level 100. I just do it because I like to look at their stats just to make sure they're right. So let's just move on here. Uh, experience, you don't, don't mess with that. Happiness. Now, the only time I'm going to put happiness into a Pokemon is if I re I'm using the move Return. So other than that, you don't really need happiness in there. Now, what you want to do now is click Generate. And that's going to bring this little thing up. This is um, how I, how you can get shiny Pokemon and how you can change their nature. If you tick this box down here and click shiny, it's going to make your Pokemon shiny. Now, I don't want a shiny Butterfree, so I'm going to untick it. So, my Butterfree is not going to be shiny. Now, nature, natures are very important, and I'm going to put a timid nature because that's probably the best nature for a Butterfree. Um, you can make it female or male here. I just don't usually mess with that. Um, and then it's going to put a PID here. Don't change that. Just leave it whatever it is. Now, Pokerus. If you want to make your Pokemon look really legit, then click Cursed right there. Um, me, I don't normally mess with that stuff. So I can just... I'll keep it at Cursed just because... Now, IVs, just click all 31. It, it'll just save you a lot of time. If you breed your Pokemon and EV train them yourself, you're not going to have 31 IVs in every single stat, but oh well. Now, if I want to put a hidden power in my Pokemon, I'm going to change up the IVs because hidden power depends 
on your ivies. Um, since but my Butterfree is not going to have hidden power, I don't really need to um, mess with the ivies too much. So down here, um, effort values, EVs, you can put all 85 and that's going to bring it to the max, but I don't really recommend doing that. For this Butterfree, I'm just going to give it uh, max speed and max, let's see, HP, I guess. Uh, no, I'll just give it a max special attack. Um, I'm not really going off any set off Smogon, I'm just making it my own. Now, contest stats, if you're Wi-Fi battling, don't mess with those, you don't need them. Um, these things over here too, don't mess with those. Now for moves, what I recommend doing is going over here and hitting PP, uh, ups and just click max. Now that's going to make your moves maxed out. Like it's, it's, it's as if you put PP ups into the moves and they're at max PP. I just said PP like 36 times, but whatever. Now, since this is a lead Butterfree, I'm going to give it a uh, sleep powder, uh, uh, stun spore. Just gotta find the move. Uh, stun spore. There we go. I'll give it uh, bug buzz because that's its stab move, and then I'll give it like um, I don't know uh, energy ball. I guess just just cause. Now this isn't really a good move set. I'm just putting whatever I felt like. Now, markings, I'd recommend leaving that alone. You don't really need to mess with that. Ability, this is very important. Make sure you put an ability on your Pokemon, because if you don't, then your Pokemon's not going to have an ability, and abilities can be very helpful. Now, since this is a Butterfree, I'm going to give it um, Compound Eyes. Now, sometimes Poke Pokesav shortens the word. Um, it says compound there, but I know that's compound eyes, so I don't need to worry about that. And same with sleep, sleep powder down here, just put sleep powd. Yeah, I still know it's sleep powder, but I think it's just because it doesn't allow that many like letters, I guess. But um, original trainer, that's what OT means, or original gender, or whatever. You can put female or male. I'm just going to put male. Um, input own OT, like own um your own trainer ID or whatever, trainer name, I just click that, and then it's just going to put the default thing that you set your character as before you started the game. Now, you can click original name up there, and that's going to make sure your Pokemon's name is Butterfree. Um, if you want to give it a nickname, click nicknamed, and then you can uh, nickname your Pokemon. I don't normally nickname my Pokemon too much. I will sometimes, but not very often. Now, this over here. Um, all this, like, met at, met place, and stuff like that, um, I'd recommend not messing with that, because it's kind of a pain in the ass, and it takes a while, if you want to make your Pokemon look legit. If you're just going to battle with them, no one really messes with that too much. I mean, I usually don't, unless you're, like, entering, like, a tournament or something like that, then I'd, you have to do that, or they won't let you in, or something like that, so. I'm not going to mess with this for now, you can do that on your own time. But that is how I make my Pokemon. Now I, I go over here and click OK as soon as I'm finished. So it's going to close that and sometimes it glitches out and says there's nothing there. But uh, don't worry, there's something there. And then I just click OK again and then it's going to bring me back to the main page. Now all I do is go over here and click save. Now as soon as that finishes saving, then as soon as I put that into my SD card, or my SD card into my R4 and load it into my DS, um, I'm going to have that Butterfree there. So that is how I get my Pokemon. Normally I'm a lot faster than that, but since I'm explaining everything, it's taken a while. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and I uh, hope this answers your questions. If you have any other questions and you'd like me to make a video on it, please ask because I will do that so I don't have to answer tons and tons of questions all the time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Give the video a like ready. If you liked it, guys, likes always help out. If you disliked it that much, give it a dislike. And uh, leave a comment if this helped you, I guess. And uh, see you guys next time.